Now these African green pigeons. I'm going to try and get them for you. Come, come, come. They've just sat. Let's see where they landed. They flew into the quarry. Okay, Sebastian, you see there's that dead branch that comes up? There's one just, just on the edge. I think you might actually be able to see it straight in the middle of your screen. There it is. Can you see it just over there? We'll just, there we go. There it is just sitting behind the guari leaves. So that is an African green pigeon. This could potentially be a new bird for your bird list. And if it is, let us know what number you are on. Hashtag Safari Life. It's always good to keep uh, sort of tabs as to where everybody is with their birds. But they are lovely birds. Look at the beautiful colors that they have on them. I love their sort of reddish orange feet. And the sear on their beaks is also that same color with almost that yellow orbital ring around their eyes. And they always look like they're well fed. <laughs> I don't know why, but they seem to be the plumpest of uh, uh, the pigeons and the doves. They always look well fed. But I, I think it's because of the food that they eat. It's got lots of sugar in. They love to feed on figs that's their favorite but unfortunately there aren't too many fig trees around in this area but when they go down south they have to fight other african green pigeons and as well as trumpeter hornbills uh, and crowned hornbills for those delicious fruits but up here they'll be feeding on the fruits that this tree bears the one of the guari trees it bears a delicious fruit there are lots of jackal berries which are quite tasty too and marulas not so much i don't think i've ever seen uh, the African green pigeons pecking at marulas. Perhaps it's a little bit too tough for them, but you never quite know. Now there was another one, but I don't know where it's gone. I think it's gone further and further into the shrub. But that makes for a very, very pretty picture, the way that it has perched itself up there. Okay. Machine gun Ned. No, machine gun nest. You've said that this is number 91 i did hear that correctly right sebastian 90, 91 nine. one one nine nine wow that is fantastic right we need to then find you 200 for this afternoon machine gun nest that's exactly what we're going to do i don't know what bird it's going to be perhaps you haven't got one of the buntings on your list maybe you're missing a chagra who knows but we'll see if we can get you to 200 this afternoon Look at those lovely birds. I actually have, hang on, I've got feathers of an African green pigeon. While you look at them, I just need to start digging. And yes, come here. There's one, there's two, there's three. But where are all my green ones? I've, look at me, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I hoard everything. I have got feathers. Now these, it's quite difficult to tell, but the only, the, what actually gives it away that it's an African green pigeon is you've got to look very closely on the edge of the feather. Um, and you can see there's a sort of a yellowish green stripe. Now I picked these up on Arethusa one morning where they were sort of roosting up in the tree above me. And obviously they were preening themselves and these feathers were no good. And so I saw them on the floor. Actually, that's what I spotted first. I thought something had been killed on the road. Perhaps a little cat maybe snatched up a bird, and that wasn't the case. All I did was I tilted my head towards the sky and saw a whole lot of them, which is really cool. But how nice is that? Now you've seen the bird. You've got a close-up look at their feathers too. You can see why I wouldn't want that one. Look how damaged the tip of that feather is. It's not that good. Hmm.